Welcome back to another hair video. This one is exciting. We're going to do a color tutorial. As you can see, my client has gray hair. She's like 75 to 80% gray and previous color that's kind of dimensional. Essentially, we've been experimenting with doing highlights because her past stylist made her hair pretty dark. So for this appointment, I'm going to cover her roots and continue to brighten up her hair with more highlights and give her an overall brighter, more blonde look. So I'm going to start off by mixing my color. I'm starting off with the root color. I'm using the Redken Chromatics Ultra Rich line. It has the oil-based cream developer and it's supposed to provide really good coverage and still be protective on the hair. And I used 8GI and 8G. Time to mix my lightener. I'm starting off with my Redken Flash Lift and 10 volume. And now it's time to apply to her hair. So we're doing the roots first, and then I'm going to go in and put my highlights in towards the back. So this is more of like a half highlight, partial highlight type of appointment. So this is what it's looking like before it's time to rinse her hair out. You see my highlights concentrated in the back, and yeah. My client's hair is finished processing, so I am taking out the foils and preparing her hair to be rinsed. I have started the shampoo process and something I like to talk about is with straight naturals, people will assume that their hair will always be like bone straight on the ends because it gets pressed all the time, but that's not always the case. I keep up with her trims and so for the most part you will see texture in her hair. She'll have waves and some curls. Her hair is like uh, type 3 naturally. have finished the shampoo process and an important thing to know is never to condition before toning because you will seal the cuticle. What I am applying here is step two of the Olaplex treatment. I decided to use Olaplex on my client's hair because she has basically all of the hair that you see on her head at one point was gray and was permanently colored and I am bleaching it right to remove that permanent color so I just want to make sure that her hair is protected and that she will still continue to have that texture in her hair that's kind of how you know that her hair isn't really damaged you know and just look at how beautiful those highlights are by the way like this is obviously untoned but I mean look at that her hair is just so much brighter overall and her curls waves are looking pretty good honestly so yeah you just let this um step two sit for about 10 minutes and so i let this sit while i mix her toner all right so here i am mixing her toner and i had used this same toner formula before so i just repeated it it was 25 grams of the 7gb redken shades eq and 15 grams of 8gi with the um, shades eq developer so here i am applying the toner that i just mixed i'm going in section by section trying to make sure i really cover every single highlight on her head okay i want to make sure that all of it is cohesive we're going for something that looks like it's all over one color even though we know it's dimensional and i'm really massaging that in as i've been told and seen online that for redken shades eq toners you really want to work those in As I mentioned earlier, I'm using Olaplex throughout this process for her. So as I steam condition her hair, I am going in and applying the Olaplex conditioning treatment. And then I'm going in with my Amika Soul Food. When I tell you all this product really softens the hair, like 
it does its job, especially with the steamer. Definitely buy it. So with all my clients, by the way, I use the towel to protect their airs from the steam, but for every client that I do a steam treatment on, I detangle during the steaming process. I feel like you get the most out of the steam and it just makes it easier for detangling the hair. So I always highly recommend adding on a steam treatment. And this is what her hair is looking like after finishing the conditioning and detangling process. I'm for her blow dry, so I'm going in with my Olaplex number no. six and the Redken All Soft Leave In Conditioner. I know that was kind of fast, but you know, memory, right? So I'm sectioning her hair into four sections, four quadrants. I'm just detangling again a little bit and making sure I smooth it out and stretch out the hair because with natural hair, I don't like it to dry up on itself and shrink. So I stretch it out and clip it up while I blow dry each section. I'm going in with my Dyson and the comb attachment to pre-dry her hair, really stretch it out, get rid of most of her texture. And then I'm going to go in with my Kenra Leave-In Blow Dry Spray, spray that and I'm going to section her hair and round brush it. I round brush everyone's hair that I'm going to do a silk press on, even my clients I'm going to braid. I just feel like the round brush really makes sure that their hair gets stretched out the best they can. And when I want to give people trims without straightening their hair, I feel like the round brush is the best as well. These are the post blow dry results, real full, lots of movement, a lot lighter. So yeah, excited. So the highlights really pop and you can see it here as I curl her hair. Here's the final result. I think it came out super pretty. Make sure you like this video and follow to see more.